The component in the internal combustion engine that cops the most use and abuse is the poor old piston. Now, we've had a lot of problems with pistons over the years with our engines. You know, when we were making 450 kilowatts, we were starting to cave the tops of the pistons in. They were just completely crumbling under the force of the combustion. In our engines at 1,000 horsepower, you've got around about nine tonnes of force pushing down on the top of that piston and it does it 60 times a second. So you've got a huge amount of force having to be absorbed by the piston. In the next step, we moved over to a different brand of pistons which were a little bit more durable in the top. However, we were having cracking problems in the skirts because as you can see, they're a particularly thin skirt in this, in this brand of piston. So we thought, what do we do? We went right to the top. We got in touch with Cosworth in the UK. Now, Cosworth are a preeminent engine specialist, been building Formula One engines since the 50s, and they looked at what we'd been uh, using and the problems we've been having, and they said, no worries, Brad, we can get this sorted out. So uh, after about six or seven weeks worth of CAD CAM design and bits and pieces, they sent us over a, um, a wax mold of the piston that we were going to be, uh, they were going to design for us. Then we eventually ended up with the finished product, which is this. Now, as you can see, this piston design is streets ahead of anything else on the market. It's got six struts to support the combustion chamber and to support the pin boss. It's got a very, very thick crown. It's made out of the same material that the Formula One pistons are made out of. It's got the Xylan coating on the skirts, which is again the, from the Formula One technology. It's got a very, very strong gudgeon pin. And with all this reinforcing, it gives us a piston that will withstand this eight to nine tons worth of loading 60 times a second, you know, year in and year out. The crowns are fully polished to reflect the heat back into the combustion chamber. And one aspect of, that Cosworth paid particular attention to was the thermal path from the crown of the piston through the rings and into the cylinder walls. So the Cosworth rings that we have are much thicker than normal rings, so as they can aid the dissipation of the heat from the piston. Getting the heat out of it is very, very critical because aluminium melts at a lower temperature than the combustion chamber temperature of the flame. So, you know, we've got a bit of a dichotomy going on there, whereas we have to have a rich mixture, a slightly rich mixture, to keep the piston cool so the thing doesn't melt. But the Cosworth pistons are just fantastic. Our ring seal has improved like you would not believe and it maintains a ring seal for years and years you know of, of hard hard use uh, whereas other pistons were just giving up the ghost after a while the skirts were wearing and collapsing and falling in on themselves and all the rest of it and uh, we just weren't getting the durability as our customers are looking for more and more power we're finding that the Cosworth pistons are more than up to the job of handling those requirements uh, you know, a few years ago, 400, 450 kilowatts was quite normal. Nowadays, we're making 900 kilowatts at the tyres. And the Cosworth piston is there with us for the long haul. They're able to withstand these sorts of loads uh, now and I'm sure in the future. We're not having any troubles with them whatsoever.